So we've been talking a bunch about web performance lately and the term first meaningful paint has come I've, up a bunch. I've been avoiding all those discussions just purely from the standpoint of everyone's going to have an opinion, they're always going to be different, and it doesn't matter because everyone's going to have a different web app that needs different things. You realize your side isn't going to become the focus of this episode. Because it's, it's so good. Fantastic. <laughs> so the Chromium Loading Performance Group um, had this really nice thread where they, they walked through what they thought first meaningful paint was, and I thought it'd be good to summarize that. So there's sort of three key user moments yep. that people need to keep an eye on when it comes to, to this stuff. There's, is it happening? So time to first paint. Is it useful? So uh, time to first meaningful paint. And is it usable? So time to stable layout. Okay. So let's, let's walk through all of that stuff in the context of your site. So this is your staging site, which you tell me is fast. It's faster. Faster. Um, we're going to try this out on GPRS. So I've GPRS it up, currently in timeline. And you've got, you've got all these transitions and things in your site. So we're, we've clicked on a link, and we've got this loading indicator, this nice little, ooh, look at that. It's, it's nice and So it's, that happens feels, feels after good. the first render. Mm -hmm. First, it, it's important. You don't just load up my site and you get that. So this is, this is sort of your your first paint in this particular case. When you're doing a navigation, yes. Yeah, when you're doing a navigation. And then you go straight for the content right after that. Yeah, so all that's happening is when you go from the first page, which is static render, it'll animate out. And before it starts the animation, it does a query to get the extra content for whatever you're going to go to. So once it's done that animation out, if the query isn't finished, then it shows up the spinner saying, right, we'll wait until that's done. And once it's done, loads it all up and animates it in. Cool. Now, um, the is it happening user moment, so the time to first paint, usually the things that that would include are like your splash screen loading up. If you have a splash screen, a loading indicator, so your site's got a loading indicator. Basically, any feedback that lets the user know that you know, navigation has started in the page. So I'm going to debate that somewhat, because my site only does the loading indicator when it's going from one transition to the next. The first render, if you control refresh it, it's just a static render. It's important, because it's faster, I think. It's important because it makes you look better. No, so I think everyone should be going for a static render for their first load because otherwise you're, you're sending HTML, you're sending CSS, you're sending JavaScript just to do a load, yep. like just showing a loading spin or a splash screen, which yep. in some cases maybe it's unavoidable, uh, unavoidable, but I think generally people should try and avoid it as much as they can. So the is it useful um, moment, so time to first meaningful paint is usually um, focused on paints of your above the fold, like your body text, your headline text, yep. maybe a hero image. In your case, um, you're using like a static uh, server-side render for this stuff, so it's, it's all coming down really quickly. Yeah. We're going to take a look at your home page, which does things a little bit differently. So again, you're server-side rendering your content. So this is yeah. like about five, 600 milliseconds in. You've got content on the screen, so you've got your first paint. You've got body text here as well. Arguably, this is first meaningful paint, but it's I guess it's, it's really down to you because you don't have headline text or navigation in place just yet. Yeah, so the headline text and navigation are using a custom font. I am pretty much waiting for the font display parameter to land yeah. because basically the font isn't important in my head, but I want it to be there. So it's one of those things of, well, I can't manage the caching or anything like that. Yeah. I just basically want to say, if it's cached in there, use it. If not, then don't bother, but I can't yet. OK. I mean, in this, in this case, just to keep things super, super clear, we could say, OK, well, this is time to first paint. And then once you've actually got your headlines and everything else in, that's, that's sort meaningful. of meaningful. Yep. In this case, because, again, you've got navigation and stuff in place, the next, the next things happening are sort of your CSS, I guess, asynchronously being loaded in, in your case. Yep, so I've got the critical path CSS. So the first thing will have like inline CSS, so it stops the layout from popping and everything else. Um, but then I load all the extra stuff. So background images that aren't important or little bits of UI that are nice to have, but not critical. Cool. So at this point, I imagine a user could probably navigate around your site. Yeah. Right? So you've got, you've got stable layout and everything at that point. Um, beyond those key user moments, um, and again, time, when you, once you've got stable layout, the person should be able to like, interact with the app or your navigation, right? Yeah. Um, I think it was Paul Irish that actually enumerated some of these. So um, uh, when your page feels uh, ready to interact with, you know, it could be the case that the user agent is completed with its loading indicator. Um, you've got your primary text and images painted. All of your layout has stabilized. Once all that stuff is done, you're in a fairly good state. Um, you could consider that there's stuff after that that applies to Rail, the performance model that we've been talking about in the past. Yeah. 
Um, you know, is it delightful? Is there anything else that needs to load on the page in order to enrich that user experience? Yeah. But I think, you know, looking at normal speeds or cable speeds, your site's actually doing pretty, pretty well. On that. Like, the way that I treat a lot of this stuff is if all you received was the HTML and nothing else, the page should be stable, it should be usable, and it should paint everything that's needed to just be usable. Mm -hmm. um, because the, I, like, the way that I see all of this is if you treat that as just like the very first thing that you get is HTML and it all works, mm -hmm. everything plus that is just useful. Um, so yeah, that's how I try and treat it as much as I can. Um, because I feel like one way or another, that's the fastest I'm going to get. Let's, so. What we recommend people to check out their first um, meaningful paint times on, DevTools, network panel, timeline. Yep. Um, I'm going to see. So web page test is another really great thing to check it out on. Because uh, you get the film strip view. You get the film strip view, nice. which is nice, and, and shows you the breakdown. Um, really good on sites that have got like, just a lot of activity going on. So that's worth checking out. Um, but yeah, that's about it for first meaningful paint. Yeah, just see what you're doing.